Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have a little bit of an update video for you guys. I feel like it wasn't that long ago that I was sitting in this chair telling you about our vacation plans for our family vacation for 2021. Um, even though that was just a few weeks ago, a lot has changed in that amount of time. And I thought I would just share with you guys kind of the update and our final decision on what we've done. If you didn't watch that video yet already, what I had said was, we have been planning a trip to Disney. We go every year, but we have been planning a trip to Disney, our annual trip to Disney, um, as long ago as 2019. We went to Disney in May of 2019. We always go in May. And then I had made the 2020 vacation not long after we got back from that 20, 2019 vacation. So I've been planning that for a very long time. Obviously, 2020 came and went. We didn't get to go for all the various reasons that I'm sure you guys know about. And then looking into 2021, we talked about um, we would go back whenever the mask mandates were lifted. So we'd planned the reservation and spent the hours doing that. Um, we had some other things thrown in there too, like Discovery Cove and you know some stuff like that. So it was a very going to be a little bit of a different for vacation for us, even though we go to Disney every year. We had things that we had added to it um, that were going to make it a little bit different. So all that stuff happened. I literally spent probably. I don't know, 10 hours total planning the stuff at Disney, the stuff at Discovery Cove, the beach place we were gonna stay out and stay at in Georgia, like all this stuff to plan it. And then in that process and that length of time, Disney put the mask mandate back. Well, I know they've changed it again. I think last I heard it's now you only have to wear them inside or um, on inside rides. So I don't know, they just keep going all over the place. And you guys know how I feel about wearing masks on vacation. And I think I've told you guys before, that is a deal breaker for me, is to have to wear that. Whether you agree with them or not, that's fine. It's just for us and our family and what we wanna do and get out of a vacation, that's not part of it. I said in that video that we have the Disney stuff planned and the Discovery Cove and the beach in Georgia and all that stuff. I said we had a backup trip planned to South Carolina. I'm not a beach person um, for many reasons, one of which is I'm extremely, extremely fair and I burn really easily and I don't like being just in that environment really. It's not my thing. I love the ocean. I think it's beautiful. Um, and we had gone to the beach a few years ago for one, not even a whole day, for like literally a couple hours. When we had gone to Disney World, one day we drove down to Cocoa Beach were there just a few hours. My husband and I got so burnt. We were miserable and I said I'd never wanna to go to a beach again. And I still hold to that. But the good thing about our backup trip, which is Myrtle Beach, South Carolina uh, slash Charleston, is we are gonna be really smart about what we do and I'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, when I, I had the backup trip the entire time, in case something wonky happened at Disney, in case they put the mask mandate back on, um, at all or in certain situations in case they close down like i don't know i just had to be prepared for anything so knowing the whole time i had this south carolina trip in the background i decided to go ahead and just cancel everything in florida cancel disney world i canceled georgia i canceled discovery cove that all that whole trip that i talked about in that original vacation plan video is canceled if you want to hear our new updated plans of how we are taking our backup trip is now becoming our only trip and our itinerary for that, then stay tuned. Okay, so like I said, this was originally a backup trip. So all I had at that point when I said that was I had the hotel booked and I had that like ready to go in case we needed it. So that was the first thing I did was make sure we have somewhere good to stay. Um, we have a beachfront resort, we have a balcony, a private balcony. So that was one of the things I wanted and we have an oceanfront view room. That's one of the things that I thought was really, really important to be able to enjoy the beach without actually having to be on it. I really wanted oceanfront, I really wanted a private balcony, and so we do have that. So I had that, and so when I canceled all the stuff in Disney and Florida and in Georgia, I didn't have any of the activities planned for South Carolina. So I had to spend a lot of time kind of delving into what we were gonna do, and like I said, we're not beach people. The girls love the ocean, they love, they love the beach, they say, but they've only been there for like two hours, literally, in their entire life. So to go to a beach resort and a beach, you know, that's like the primary reason people go to Myrtle Beach is because of the beach. And I knew that if we went somewhere like that, it was gonna be really hard to kind of rein everybody in and say, okay, we cannot be in the sun all day long on the beach. It cannot happen. The girls and I are entirely too fair. And if anybody gets a sunburn, it's going to ruin the trip for everybody. Because when my husband and I got burned a few years ago, 
we ended up going home early because we were just so miserable. So I really don't want that to happen. I had to be really smart about like trying to make sure that we are only going to the beach when it's a better time with the sun. So early morning, later, you know, very late afternoon, very early evening, kind of into the nighttime, just to make sure that we're not there at the hottest part of the day. We're not there when the sun is the most damaging. So that's just something you have to really take into consideration when you're really fair. People will say, well, just slather on the sunscreen. Yes, that is very true, but it time slips up on you and it's really hard to remember, you know, when's the time or I need to put more on or stop what you're doing. Stop having fun. I've got to go come slather you back up, you know? So I told the girls, I was like, if we're going to go to the beach, we really have to be doing other things away from the beach in the afternoon and only going there earlier or later. So everyone agreed to that. And I think the good thing about having the ocean front room ocean front view room is that we can still enjoy the beach we can still enjoy the ocean and the sound of it even if we're in our room so breakfast on the balcony or if we go back to the hotel room in the afternoon to do something you know we're still at the beach we're still actively able to see it and enjoy it without having to be on the beach all the time that's just me trying to be really smart and trying to avoid any unnecessary sunburns okay so we are keeping the same dates we had originally for our disney and georgia trip just flip-flopping it and going to South Carolina. The good thing is for us, South Carolina is a few hours closer than Florida. So that will shave a little bit off of our travel time, which is nice. So we're checking in. Um, my husband works like all day the day before we leave. He comes home, he sleeps for a few hours. We usually leave, you know, late night, early, 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 early the next morning, like before the sun even comes up and drive straight through. So we should be getting in South Carolina anywhere between 12 and 2 o'clock in the afternoon um so we don't have anything on the the schedule for that day because you know you're tired you usually want to take a nap freshen up and then that night we are planning on going to broadway at the beach apparently it's kind of like myrtle beach's version of disney springs where there's lots of restaurants and theaters and shops and things like that so we plan on eating either at the hard rock cafe or at Wahlburgers which actually is where I want to eat because I, I don't know, it just seems neat. I've heard about Wahlburgers from the TV show. It's Mark Wahlberg and his family's restaurant. Um, unfortunately though, they don't take reservations and I'm not really interested in waiting hours to eat dinner. So I have a backup reservation at Hard Rock Cafe at seven if we can't get a walk up at Wahlburgers. So that night is just really kind of getting acclimated, you know, resting, eating, walking around, looking at what's there at Broadway at the beach and then going back and getting a good night's rest for the next day. So the next day is actually really exciting. And one thing I had a hard time with when planning our trip is it seems like a lot of the stuff we wanted to do is a little bit of a drive from Myrtle Beach. So like the Dolphin Place and the other place, you know, it's like driving 40 minutes this way. And you know, if you want to go to Charleston, that's like two and a half hours away from Myrtle Beach. But I feel like it's worth it to really see as much as we can see and also like I said utilize the afternoons where we're not at the beach to do other fun stuff and then go back to the beach later on so the next day um good news is we're not going to have to get up early we're not going to have a fast pass we're not going to have an early morning reservation we have to be somewhere rush 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 you know when you go on a Disney vacation as much as I love it I think for the most part you don't go there expecting to get a whole lot of rest unless you just stay at the resort you know a couple days a week or something we never did that we were at the parks every day and as much as I love them, it is work. It is, you, you're always, you're constantly thinking when you're not at the parks, you're wasting money because you're not using those park passes that you bought. You're not using those hopper passes that you bought. And it's gonna be totally different to be able to go to bed that night we get there and get up in the morning and not have to be anywhere by any certain time. Now that doesn't mean I wanna sleep all day, but I don't have to get up early. We don't have to stress about that. We don't have anything to do like that's a scheduled time until five o'clock that evening. So we're gonna get up, probably have breakfast either downstairs at the hotel or we're gonna bring some stuff to make some stuff in the hotel room, eat breakfast on the balcony and watch the beach, like look at the beach. I mean, that just sounds really relaxing. So that's gonna to be totally different for us is to just not be beating our brains out the entire trip at the parks, in and out of monorails, getting one fast pass, running to the other one, you know, not missing your dining reservation. It's gonna be a totally different thing. So nothing that day whatever we want to do. And then we have a horseback ride on the beach at sunset. So it's actually 40 minutes from the hotel with this place that we're going. And it's the only beach horseback riding experience I could find that was close to Myrtle Beach. So they do ones in the afternoon, but again, the whole point was to avoid being out in the sun in the hottest part of the day. Plus I think it seems really neat to do one at sunset. 
So I called and they said, yeah, um, in October, this time of year, sunset usually starts around five. So we're supposed to be there at five o'clock. It's 40 minutes from the hotel. So we just have to get that drive time in there. We'll probably get something to eat, you know, on the way just to go or something. Um, again, no plans, no reservations for anywhere to be. So even though that kind of makes the planner in me nervous, like where are we gonna eat? But you know, they have normal restaurants. We don't have to be going somewhere fancy all the time like we do at Disney. You know, we see a Panera, we see Chick-fil-A, you know, whatever we can, whatever we see, we can happen to just get on the way down there. So the girls don't know about that. And I think they'll really enjoy it. They love horseback riding. We do it a couple times a year here, either in Kentucky or when we go to Tennessee, we usually do it there. But to do it on the beach and to do it at sunset seems really really amazing and i think they'll be so surprised and love that so i'm really excited about that but that's the only thing we have scheduled for that particular day so then we'll go back to the hotel do whatever we want i'm even going to bring some games if you want to play some board games or card games it's just going to be such a different trip for us i'm really really excited to see like <clears throat> having downtime are we going to be bored are we going to be relaxed like what's it going to be like but it sounds like right now when i think about it it sounds pretty amazing. So the next day is the day that I have allotted for Charleston. That's one thing I really wanted to do, really wanted to go there. It is about two and a half hours away. Actually, I actually think it's more close to two, um, but on the way to Charleston, we are actually stopping at Cypress Gardens, which is about two and a half hours away from the hotel, according to Google. Um, and they're only open nine to five. So we have to try to get there fairly early. So we will have to get up at a decent time that day to be there around nine or 10 o'clock, hopefully in the morning to see and do the stuff they have there and then drive that extra, um, about an hour, they said from Cypress Gardens to Charleston. So it'll be a pretty heavy car day as far as like being on the road, but Cypress Gardens looked really, really neat to me because first of all the boat scene in the notebook was filmed there there's some scenes from the patriot that were filmed there i love both of those movies and it's just a really neat really really inexpensive nature like conservatory where you can go and get these boats and boat through the swamps they have a butterfly area where you can go in and see the butterflies and stuff it just seems really neat and like totally different than what we've ever done before just to go and see like a nature exhibit like that in another state it just seems really neat so they're only open nine to five so we have to leave there no later than 3 30 to get to charleston and get to our carriage ride that we're going to be taking it is a horse-drawn carriage ride through downtown charleston i think it's an hour carriage ride and in that hour we're going to be able to see a lot more of the city um, narrated by someone who is telling us like the history of these different places see a lot more of it in that fun kind of transportation mode um, than we could just by walking it and hearing somebody talk about it. So that I think will be really fun. It's the last carriage ride of the night, so we cannot be late because they cannot put us on a later one if we get there late. So that's kind of the only thing I'm stressing out about about that day is making sure that we are not late. It'll be a late night getting back to the hotel because it'll be two, two and a half hours to get back from Charleston to the hotel that night. So that's like the main day that we have I would say the most stressful thing as far as having timed like so many time things where we had to be places so that's that day the next day we have a dolphin tour um in merle's inlet which is 45 minutes from the hotel um but that's something that i definitely was on my like non-negotiables i really wanted to do a dolphin tour i love dolphins they're one of my favorite animals in the entire world and we've done like dolphin experiences at SeaWorld and things like that. We were gonna do the dolphin experience at Discovery Cove had we gone there. And of course I can't swim with these dolphins, but at least maybe hopefully we'll be able to go out on a boat and see some dolphins out in the wild. That just seems so neat to me. Cause even when you see them at SeaWorld, as neat as that is, they are captive dolphins. They're not wild dolphins that are out in the ocean, you know, doing their thing, living their best life. So we have that. Um, at 11 o'clock that next day. So it's 45 minutes from the hotel. So again, not having to get up super, super early, but we will have to get up a teeny bit earlier on that day. And then whatever time we have left after that, we plan on going to the Huntington Beach State Park. It is only 10 minutes from where the dolphin tour is. And I was trying to find something we could do in that same area as Merle's Inlet so that we're not driving 45 minutes to go there and then coming right back. Like what's in this area that we can explore while we're here? So Huntington Beach State Park, they have a really beautiful private beach there. They have some crabbing events. They even have a you know, picnic area. So it's possible after we do our dolphin tour, we can go get lunch somewhere, maybe take it to the state park and have lunch there. There's a museum, tons of different stuff to do there. I'm really hoping to be able to get, um, get to get registered for the crabbing event. They didn't have availability yet to be able to schedule it. It's too far out when I'm filming this, but 
He said in a few weeks, when I call back, I should be able to register for that. And basically you just pay $5 a person to catch and release crabs. I don't know where, if it's like in the ocean or like a little, I don't know where the water situation is, but you go to the water, they have these cages set up, you catch the crabs, you, you know, look at them and learn about them and then you put them back. So I thought that would be something really fun the girls would enjoy. Even though kind of crabs are kind of gross and creepy, I think it still would be really neat. So I'm hoping we can do that. Um, and that is that day. Now, the only thing we don't, we don't have anything scheduled for the next two days. We're actually supposed to be going home um, the day after, two days after the dolphin tour. But I left the next day after this deliberately blank to do whatever we want. If we choose to, we can actually go home that next day, as long as we told them at 11 by checkout that we decided we're not gonna stay six nights, we're only gonna stay five, which could happen if we had a sunburn or if we decide we, you know, we've had our fun and we've done everything we wanna do, we wanna go home now, that's fine. We can check out on that day and then go home early. Or if we wanna stay six nights, we have two free days basically to do whatever we want. So if we want to go um, back to Broadway at the beach, or if we see anything local that we didn't like sign up for ahead of time, we think we might want to try it, like a boating excursion or fishing or whatever we want to do. We'll have those two free days to do that. And so again, unlike Disney, that is a very rare thing for us to have any free time to do like just whatever we want. So I'm really, really excited. I'm excited about the things we have scheduled and I'm excited about the things we don't have scheduled. The time that we have to sleep in, the time that we have to just hang out at the resort, the time that we have to just do stuff as a family like without having to be somewhere. I'm really excited about that and I have a sense of relief. Even though it was hard to cancel the Disney reservation, it was hard to, to cancel Discovery Cove and stuff, there is a sense of relief in having a definite plan. Now, obviously things could still happen that could make, our, make us have to cancel this trip. Obviously, if that happens at this point, it's just not meant for us to go anywhere this year, even though I've tried my very hardest to make sure that's gonna happen. Um, you never know with the way things are, and you never know in life anyway if you're gonna be able to go. But as far as I know, things right now, this is what we're doing. Um, it's actually not too far away from when I'm filming this. Um, actually, I'll be getting the suitcases out probably in about a week or two because I like to pack a little early. Um, but I'm already starting to like pull things aside and like make all my packing lists and stuff. So. I'm really excited. I told Those are our updated vacation travel plans. I am really excited. There was, like I said, there was a huge relief that I felt when I canceled Disney and I canceled Discovery Cove. I'm disappointed about that. And I would like to go there again sometime, or I would like to go there sometime. Um, it was hard to cancel it, um, but I feel like there was a sense of peace in at least not having, you know, two things planned, two things going constantly. Which one are we gonna be doing? Which one is the one we're actually gonna go and, and have a vacation there? And which one do I need to spend time planning things for? You know, that was kind of really annoying. And I realized this is vacation. And so in the grand scheme of things, it's, it's insignificant, it's not important. There are way worse things in the world than where, when, or if we ever go on vacation. But our vacations are important to us because my husband works a lot. And you know, I'm a stay at home mom, slash work at home mom, so I'm working a lot around here. So to be able to get away as a family is really important to us and having something now more solidified and not two things at the same time, there's a sense of relief in that and I'm really excited. So hopefully you guys don't see me talking about any updated travel plans again this year at all. But I do have some videos that I am planning for our trip in October, like leading up to our trip. I'm thinking of doing like a pre-vacation get it all done video. I may do some packing videos. I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna do exactly. So if you wanna see those, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so that I know you like vacation related content. All the vacation related content I've ever made has always been about Disney. So for me, it'll be different to make a video for you guys that's about anything else. And I'm having to learn a lot about like, what do people take to the beach? What, you know, what is there to do in South Carolina? Because we've always only ever gone to Disney. So it's a whole new world for me. So if you guys want to see more vacation videos, make sure you give this one a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you head out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.